Welcome to Moonlight Shadows is the collective. Pick a card for which divine goddess are you connecting with? I have four piles today. Pile one, the green adventuring bracelet. Pile two is a heart topaz ring. Pile three, three excuse me, is the garnet labradorite bracelet. And pile four is a citrine. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to choose from your heart, and we'll go ahead and get started. Hey, pile one, if you chose this pile, you got Khadija, the mother of believers. I hope I'm saying that right. This card says, I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. So I feel like you guys have a lot of spiritual abundance, lots of red root chakra energy here. You guys are very, very much protected by this particular goddess. I see you guys had a terrible ending that happened with the Ten of Swords. This goddess is helping you heal and move from whatever past hurts have caused some type of strain or imbalance within you with this mental anxiety. Lots of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys are really stressed out. You could be a Libra with the Queen of Swords here. I feel like this particular goddess is helping you heal from that particular situation. You have grown more spiritually stronger and financially successful as well. If you haven't, I feel like that blessing is coming towards you. The angel message that you have here is no need to worry from whatever past situation. What's done, it's done. It's over with. You have a lot of fire that's ignited within you. You're very protected by the angels. Um, another card you have is this particular tree. I feel like you guys are growing spiritually with the tree. I feel like it's grown. There's lots of roots. Um, so you've definitely evolved 111 as I said that. Infinite blessing. Blessings flow to and from you. Endlessly expanding in all directions. Filling you with healing light that guides you upon your blessed path. Rainbow light flows from your heart creating infinite space that's so funny that this is rainbow light and if you look at this card there's nothing but rainbows all around so you guys could see rainbows i feel like that's just a sign from your angels and guides that they are here protecting you if there was a burden from your past i feel like that's being healed with this cross and the tree i feel like you also have someone that's a past loved one who passed away who is guiding you from the other side with as above so below with this tree there's a reflection here i feel like this person can watch you or you may feel their presence at times with the 13 this reminds me of the death card so it's definitely someone who passed away when you were young the queen of swords is standing out to me so this person could have a lot of wisdom that they gave you or they're giving you intuitive messages or downloads they really care a lot about you i'm getting a lot of chills as i'm saying this you could have passed they could have passed away when you were young and now you're an adult and um, they're helping you heal. The next set of cards is the nine of wands, excuse me, the nine of cups and the knight of cups. So nine of cups and the knight of cups. So you're very successful. You are taking charge. You are being emotionally fulfilled now. You're no longer in a negative state of mind. I feel like you've overcome a lot of obstacles and this has helped you grow as a person. Whatever challenges, you could have gone through a dark night of the soul. is a very terrible event, but you have healed. You have a lot of spiritual angelic protection around you. This particular goddess is helping you see that you are financially abundant and you don't need anyone to complete you. With the Knight of Cups, you do have love coming towards you. You could be a little bit cold or standoffish. You don't want to get hurt is what I'm getting because this person has his arms crossed. But I feel like this person who's coming towards you, they are a true friend. They have good intentions. 303, as I said that, lots of cups, very emotional. I feel like this Knight is coming towards you. They see you um, for who you are. They love you. They know you only want the truth. You're very intuitive, very fair. Queen of Swords energy, Libra energy here. Very intuitive. Lots of birds could be around you as well. I feel like this Knight of Cups is coming towards you and they are going to tell you how they feel they see you very single happy and abundant um you've emotionally healed yourself you're very guarded um it's like you've emerged into some type of a royal divine feminine 333 as i said that so you have a lot of messages and downloads that are coming helping you heal from this eight of swords energy you're no longer in this eight of swords energy is what i'm getting with the four of pentacles you've taken the time to heal connect with the divine and you've walked away from that which no longer serves you with the eight of cups you could have someone from your past watching you heal or evolve or they have an intuitive connection to you and they just generally know with their intuition that you are healing from whatever hurt that they've caused you this person could be a knight of swords. They could have stabbed you in the back, pretended to be your friend. And in reality, um, they were very jealous or envious of you with the green here. Um, this person could have lied. You could have thought this was someone that you could trust. 411, I feel like you received some intuition or some information about this person. Or your intuition guided you to see the truth that this person was not of your highest good. I'm getting that you are no longer in this situation. Um, you have healed yourself. You have evolved um, you are definitely coming out of that energy and no need to worry. I feel like you have already overcome this situation. 
um, with this card. It's like you are officially healed. Your angels are here. Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, 444. You have a lot of angelic protection. The sword is down, meaning you don't have to fight anymore. You've healed. You've transformed into a beautiful divine feminine. Um, whether you're male or female, the feminine aspect of you is healed. This particular um, goddess is helping you see that you have a lot of nurturing energy. You stand your ground. Whoever is in your past loved one, they could have put their hands on their waist. That's for some of you, not all of them. Um, when they meant business is what I'm getting. But you have a lot of financial and spiritual abundance. And you have all of the heavens and all of the earth here providing for you. You guys could manifest with this particular goddess. Um, stand your ground. You could be earth signs as well because we did see the tree. You don't have to be. Um, because I have pentacles, but a lot of air energy with the swords in all of this deck, including the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So you could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like you have a lot of beautiful connection to the divine angelic realm with this crown chakra here and the light. It's like you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom that's coming towards you. You're being enlightened, illuminated. There are some changes. You're going through a spiritual level up, some type of ascension, 555, as I said that. Major changes on whatever delays that have been caused in the past, but you have success here. Um, you have a light within and shine and share whatever the gifts are or messages that are being downloaded to you. That's what you need to share with the world and take action on these intuitive messages and downloads that you're getting because that is going to help you become even more successful and that's pretty much the message if you chose pile one i hope you found this helpful please like comment share and subscribe if you'd like a personal reading the information is in the description box below and i send you guys lots of love and light bye guys hey pile two if you chose this pile you have romance that's coming your way you also got this particular goddess which is called serata devi or Divi, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, it says the divine mother, unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So you guys have learned to love yourselves. If someone hurt you in the past, I feel like they're going through judgment, but you're no longer judging them. I feel like you've released this person and that's helping you heal and find your inner light and shine within yourself in order to find that unconditional love for you. You have this beautiful light here, which I didn't even want to read the message yet. I wanted you to see this card. It's so beautiful. Look at all of that beautiful light from the divine goddess that you're connecting with. The message that she has for you today is a blessing from the light. You're dearly loved more than you can possibly imagine, and you are never alone. A universe of love and light surrounds you and showers you with blessings that ebb and flow in your heart. So you are always protected by the universe. You have so much beautiful connection to love and light from your spiritual team. You also have lilies and the locket. You could like lilies or flowers. I feel like there's someone near and dear to your heart who's coming to you. 111, as I said that, this person is going to offer you a stable commitment with the Emperor card Aries energy here. Um, also Taurus energy, but this person is going to restore some type of temperance or balance within you. Mind, body, and spirit is what I'm getting. And with the sun, it's like there's a sunrise. You have healed. There's also flowers here. So you collect flowers. You have spiritually cleansed yourself from someone from the past who is not of your highest good. This person could have been manipulative or hurt you in one way, shape, or form. But with the emperor, I feel like you're having someone new with the romance card here that is going to come through and be that person who's going to love and care for you regardless if you're male or female. This speaks of commitment, someone who wants to um, be that person in your life to love you and take care of you, someone who has genuine feelings for you. This person is a leader. They know what they want. Um, 202, as I said that, this is the start of a new beautiful relationship in love. So if you chose this pile, this particular divine mother, Sarada, Devi is going to help you find your love within yourself and because you focus so much on unconditional love you have so much love and light you guys could be healers um, or Reiki energy healers is what I'm getting but you have transmuted anything negative into positive with the help of this particular message from this goddess. Um, if there was someone who held back from you in the past with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like this person held back because they did not love you. They didn't want to give their love to you. This is someone who was probably flighty in and out. I feel like they're now going through some type of judgment for their behavior. They feel really down and in the Five of Cups energy is what I'm getting. It's funny that this says judgment card that we got here 
um, with this particular deck. I feel it's like Archangel Gabriel with his trumpet sounding the alarm that this person isn't of your highest good. They realize that and they're holding back and they feel sad for the way that they treated you. Um, they're going through judgment because we did see this here. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So you are love, you are light, you have unconditional love. This person is going through judgment for the harsh ways that they treated you. You do have a new offer of love with the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to make you extremely happy. And there's lilies here. So this person is going to be genuine. They're going to offer you like a stable home. I'm seeing the picket fence, the stable family, um, emotional fulfillment, financial stability. And this is all about a blessing from the universe to have love and light within you. 333, three, three, as I said that, you get, you're get you getting a lot of angelic protection. Your third eye or crown chakra could be opening with this particular card here. That is standing out to me. Um, you're starting to realize your inner power. You're opening this locket of love that you have within you and you are very unconditional, loving and light. And you're just very like pure of heart is what I'm getting. You love with like wholeheartedly. You could be 24, you don't have to be. But all of that love that you have, I feel like whoever hurt you in the past, um, you're letting them go 404. You're having a new stable um, union with someone who wants to offer you that stability. Um, whoever was in the past is going through judgment. Could have been an earth sign with the pentacles. It doesn't have to be. But I do see that you have love coming your way. Someone who's gonna offer you like the flowers, the candy, all of the love and light that you have been giving to others and they have not been returning that to you. Now is the time for you to receive that love in return. So those are the messages. Let me know if that resonates. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like a personal reading. The information is in the description box below and I send you guys lots of love and light. Bye guys. Hey pile three, if you chose this pile, you guys have perfect timing. You guys have been manifesting or waiting for something have to happen. Um, you could be manifesting more with this upcoming full moon in Gemini. I don't know why I was guided to say that to you guys. But I'm also seeing um, the goddess that you got is Saraswati, the goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. So you guys do everything out of your heart, passion, love, and light. There's so much beautiful healing energy. The crown chakra is standing out to me on this particular goddess. You guys could have very beautiful eyes. Something about your hair as well is very attractive. This goddess is helping you heal. If someone could have hurt you in the past with the Five of Cups energy, I feel like they're going to be stagnant watching you move towards your success with the Chariot card. And you have the sun here, which means you guys are going to be extremely happy um, charging forward to manifest your dreams. With the snake card, I feel like you are almost like emerging, transforming with the snake. This could be your spirit animal, but you have someone who is kind of like in your ear, helping you work towards your 10 of pentacles. You're getting some type of financial advice. It's going to be very successful. You're going to listen to these downloads. If it's spiritually or an actual friend giving you advice, you're taking action with the chariot card here. You're transmuting the negative to positive is what I'm getting with this yin and yang energy and lots of solar plexus. Um, energy with the Leo card. It could be Leo, you don't have to be, but you're starting to listen and um, basically fulfill your dreams. With this card here, there's so many fishes. You could be Pisces or this just speaks of spiritual abundance. Your heart chakra is now healed and open to receive unconditional love and emotional fulfillment with the blessing of endless possibility. Allow your inner child to be the master for a while and don't take things too seriously. Have fun and explore the world of endless possibility. Something wonderful is created through imagination and innocence. So you guys are just very pure of heart, very childlike. I feel like you guys are taking it easy with the purple. You've healed. You've taken your time to heal from a past situation that hurt you with the five of cups. Someone helped, made you feel left out in the cold. They held you back is what I'm getting, but you're taking charge. You are basically with all of that high vibrational energies of being a child, you're kind of just like taking like speed onward. This is also the chariot card. So I'm seeing like the horse could be your spirit animal. It doesn't have to be for some of you, but I'm seeing like you're getting the strength to take the reins of your life and lead yourself into your happy emotional fulfillment. I feel like someone from your past could have caused some type of drama with the tower card is what I'm getting from the volcano and Lilith. They could have used some type of negative energy here um, in secret with the high priestess. But I feel like you guys are intuitive and you are aware that someone was trying to drag you down and project some type of negative energy because they were jealous. I'm getting this person was very envious and was with a snake. They could have used some type of deity in a negative way to take from you instead of using it in a positive way. But you guys have so much light. Um, with the sun card, again, we got the sun card twice, so you guys could be strong Leos, but I feel like you're taking your power back, all of your solar plexus energy. Um, you are standing your ground. You're very solid 
in um, focusing on your divinity and your spirituality, and that's helping you overcome these obstacles with the sun card and this particular goddess. I feel like you guys are now emerging, 311, as I said that, into some type of mind, body, and spirit intuitive connection that's going to help you overcome these challenges. You guys are full of light. You have so much good energy. As I was saying before I got interrupted, you guys have so much good energy. And with the store card, I feel like you guys are starting to have messages. 17 equates to an 8, so I always associate this as having that um, yin and yang infinity symbol back and flow even flow i kind of see you guys going like back and forth and back and forth it's like you're moving the negative energy to positive energies of love and light you've transmuted this into something beautiful and you've taken back your power with the sun card so those are the messages let me know if that resonates please like comment share and subscribe if you like a personal reading the information is in the description box below and i send you guys lots of love and light bye guys hey pal four if you chose this pile you guys got dakini the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. You have the anchor, the stars, and you have Ganesh, the remover of obstacles. So I feel like you guys are starting to become aware, more in tune with your feminine energy. You're starting to listen to your intuition, whereas before you would rely on others. I feel like now you're starting to listen to that voice inside your heart, inside your soul. You're now listening to the intuitive messages that you're receiving from the divine. You guys are more grounded with the anchor card. I'm also seeing you guys could be star seeds. Um, also with the Ganesh here, I feel like there are some type of obstacles that you're facing that you're getting through them. You're staying grounded. You're meditating. You're connecting with your star seeds. Um, some type of galactic universal connection is what you have. With the purple, you're healing some type of past trauma that you face. The message here from this card from Ganesh says, A crystal clear blessing. You are soon blessed with great clarity. Your destiny is calling and your soul is shining its infinite wisdom. You're blessed, protected, and guided in all you do from this moment on. So you guys have a lot of clarity on what your destiny is. You have a divine purpose here. You're protected. There is something that you are meant to do. You guys are very, very intuitive, very spiritual. You guys are tapping into a lot of different spiritual elements, deities, um, a lot of connections on a spiritual level. It's like the whole galactic army is here is what I'm getting for some of you. Um, it's collective, so take what resonates. But what I'm getting here is you guys could have felt in this nine of pentacles in reverse. Like you guys weren't enough. You didn't trust yourselves. You often relied on others. You felt very like you defensive where you thought people were always trying to come and take from you. I'm getting that's not true. You guys had fought through a lot of obstacles is what I'm getting with the wands here. You guys are now emerging into... A new chapter in your life, 101, is I said that you've worked on yourselves, you're listening to your intuition, like I mentioned, with the Three of Pentacles is mind, body, spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides. Um, you're starting to come into union with your spiritual team and know that they are here for you. You guys are spiritually leveling up. There's a lot of spiritual transformation happening for you. With the Nine of Wands, I feel like someone in your past is now burdened for an imbalance that they could have caused you. Um, this person could have kept secrets from you. But you're very intuitive and you were very well aware and that's how your intuition kind of started to kick in when you realize that this person was not of your highest good with the five of swords you had someone who hurt you um who tried to cause burdens in your life not physically just spiritually um or mentally confused you they played a lot of mind games they try to mess with your emotions with this cup here on the magician it's like they're trying to manifest you to do what they want they wanted to take something from you but i'm getting you guys were not allowing this person to do that this helped you step into your power with the page of cups it's like you guys took that cup and you filled it back for yourself it's like you took this power back to you and you've changed the way this person has tried to hurt you you did not allow that this happened in the past it was some type of karmic cycle that you ended here with the 10 of the wheel of fortune um this was in your past this person could have wine and dined you they could have lied to you they could have tried to take from you um, with the six of cups here it's someone from your past like like a karmic cycle that you ended with the past person you've learned the lesson you've put it to rest with the four of swords you have successfully overcome this and your angels and guides are congratulating you for having the strength to trust your intuition and move forward you blocked this person who's not of your highest good 244 as i said that you guys could be seeing angelic intuitive numbers i'm getting a lot of chills confirmation as yes you guys are trusting what you can't see, you're like trusting your intuition because there's the blindfold here. You can't see what's happening, but you are spiritually stronger because of this because you're trusting your intuition, mind, body, and soul 303. As I said that, you guys have a lot of intuitive messages. You could have the raven or crow. 
as a spirit animal or the lion with the Leo card here of the King of Wands. I'm seeing this as Leo energy. You are protecting yourself. You're protecting your love. You're moving to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. You are no longer taking crap from anyone. You moved away from that which is not of your highest good. With the Justice card, you could be a Libra. You don't have to be. But you found the balance. And whatever was not in your favor is now going to be in your favor. 333, three, three, as I said that, you're getting karmic justice for all of the good things that you've done. You're pouring back into yourself with this nine picture. Um, if it was upright, it's kind of like people were taking from you, but now you're like, nope, this is my energy. And um, you reconsider the situation here with this card. It's like you realize that this person was not who they said they were. Um, you're starting to trust who you are. You're stepping into your power with the blue archangel Michael here and the sword of truth is what I'm seeing. He is protecting you. You could have a lot of angelic protection. Listen to your intuition again. So you got the intuition card twice, 404. You guys are starting to be more stable, more grounded, um, more of a solid foundation. And having that stability within your spirituality, you're trusting yourself and your gifts. You guys are stronger than you think is what I'm getting. There's a lot of heart chakra energy with the green that's been healed as well as blue for the throat chakra. You're starting to listen to your heart. Speak your truth. Become enlightened. Your crown chakra is just like booming is what I'm hearing. And there's so many messages that you're getting. It's amazing. With this Dakini card here, you are a divine feminine and you have a lot of intuition that you are starting to pay attention to. Definitely meditate and go within because there's so many messages from your angels and guides. 444, four, four, as I said that, you are doing things as it should happen in divine timing according to plan. You've closed out a cycle. Your angels and guides are super proud of you for taking that leap of faith towards your spirituality and stepping into your divine feminine energy. Regardless if you're male or female, you're starting to tap into healing your heart and speaking your truth with a throat chakra. 505, there are some major changes that you're going through and it's going to be successful because you're listening to your intuition and you're starting to fulfill your divine purpose. So those are the messages. Let me know if that resonates. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. And I send you guys lots of love and light. Thanks, guys.